Aha. Cornerstone, Cameron Court. Cornerstone, Cameron Court. Yeah, I can see that, but it's empty. <laughs> Whiskey Festival is always a highlight in two cowboys' attendance of Camel and Cork. This is the Whiskey and Spirits Festival, and we have 16 tables of distributors and distillers who are here. I suggest you come on in. Awesome. Let's go find out. Come with me. So this is a Canadian craft whiskey from Wayne Gretzky coming out of Ontario, completely local focus. All of the grains are coming from Gretzky's hometown in Ontario, all of our water from the Niagara Escarpment, and it's actually built in his distillery, which is connected to his winery in Niagara on the Lake. Yes, but is it any good? That's, it is that's, delicious. This is number one, Chen Chen. This is what you do. Oh shoot. There's some interesting rumor doing the round that you guys are already aging some whiskey. Uh, yeah, we're putting some away in a barrel. Uh, it's going to take three years though, so everybody's going to have to stay tuned. You want to get a head start on flavoring your gin? Get into some, some syrups, some bitters. Um, it's, all, it's all about getting creative with what you can do to add to your spirits, right? To make cocktails with. And if that can all come from in-house, uh, you're all the better for it, right? You're way too modest. Are you just level with us. Are you <laughs> making all those fantastic new creations that's coming up? Yeah, it's all me. We affectionately call it the Dancy Man or Granny's Blend because she invested money in the distillery. How old is she? Granny is no longer with us, but... Uh, Ouch. Sorry uh, I asked. So Dutch single malt whiskey. Mm -hmm. What do you call that? Uh, because we can't call it scotch. It's not scotch. It's not, it's not whiskey. In North America they get all confused about whiskey. What whiskey... Re I just what do you call it? Dutch single malt. Dutch single malt. It's a, it's, it's, it's a Dutch malt. You're Alberta? I'm Alberta, yes. And you're so. using Wisconsin's vodka? Yeah, I couldn't get any conversation. So, so put, put, the, uh, <laughs> put the call out there. If anybody in Canada will make it for me, I'd like to talk to them. I have friends, and then you can make a true Alberta product in Alberta. That's what we'd like to, that's what we'd like to hear. This is it. How are you doing? Fine, how are you? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Reposado? It's a reposado, aged for eight months in the French oak cask. Eight months is uh, American oak cask, this one. So eight months? Is yes. that a reposado? I thought reposado needs to be Reposado needs to be two months less than one year. Añejo needs to be one year to less than three years. An extra añejo more than three years. How many turkeys are we talking about here? Tell me about your product. Uh, well, we have six turkeys. Uh, they all gobble in different ways. How does the, the whole horse business influence the taste of your product? Well, those particular feeds, or sorry, feeds, fields, it's not tangible, but certainly there's no uh, pesticides or any, any of that going into that field. It's not... Just natural fertilization. It's, natural. it's just whatever's there is there. Highwood Distillers, are you yeah. guys still employed by Alberta government? Nope. So, explain it to me, because you guys have been around for so long. 43 years now. We brought back the regular Centennial, but we did do a new one this year, which was the dark chocolate. And the ladies seem to really love it. It's a good entry level to get women into whiskeys. Women into whiskeys. Yeah, that's that, what we want, That right? sounds like music to me. Okay. I'm Have trying you been to, I'm trying to, yeah. Where are we? I am thinking Cornerstone Theatre. What are we doing here? I think we're drinking here. What festival is this? This is a phenomenal festival. Uh, I was just a little surprised that you drink it neat because that's a pretty stiff drink you've got there. Uh, yeah, but it's really tasty. I mean, so this peppercorn gin, they like, I don't know how they make it peppery and delicious, but it's got a lot of flavor to it. To be honest, the wine fest and the beer fest are great, but it's all about the whiskey and spirits festival. The drinks here are delicious. So many interesting flavors. It's amazing. Oh, we did. We did it all. And, and then, then you came back for the raspberry vodka? Yeah. Do you know which festival you are at? <laughs> Where are you from? You Canmorians? From Calgary. Calgary? You drove out just for this? Yes. Yep. She's in Scotch Corner, I'm in Tequila Corner. Not Mezcal, too smoky. It's too like smoky? licking an ashtray. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? Whatever you need me to. <laughs> so where are you lovely ladies from? We're from uh, Edmonton, Alberta. Have you traveled just for this, or is it just sort of the weekend? We came here just for this. Yeah, just for this. Just for this. Your favorite. Are we being interviewed because nobody else will talk with you? <laughs> no, because you're very important people. Yes, I believe that you probably be right. This is, after all, of a family business, isn't it? Yes. Uh, are you getting Are you getting paid for this? Slave labor. Exactly. Slave. That's my whole point. This is a family business. 
It's almost the end of the Canmore Run Cork season for 2017. And we salute Andrew and his whole team for making it a phenomenal experience. Cheers, Andrew. Where's Andrew? Cheers, Andrew. You're making a great deal. Really appreciate you giving us a chance to cover you. This is empty. Are you going to fill it? Thank you.